laws of returns to scale explain how output behaves in response to a proportional and simultaneous variation in the quantity of inputs used in the production process. In this graph, the x-axis, or horizontal axis, shows the amount of capital K needed for the production process, while the y-axis, or vertical axis, shows the amount of labor L needed for the production process. This curve is an isoquant, which represents combinations of factors of production that produce the same level of output. This isoquant gives a production output level of 1x as a result of using one unit of capital and one unit of labor. Increasing all inputs by equal proportions and at the same time will increase the scale of production. Let's say we double the quantity of input K and input L, and let's say this doubles the quantity of output produced to 2x. This case is known as constant returns to scale, since total output increases proportionately to the increase in the productive factors. However, it may occur that this increase in inputs is followed by a less than proportionate change in outputs. This is the case for decreasing returns to scale. The opposite may also be true. An increase in factors of production can be followed by a more than proportionate increase in the output level. This is the case of increasing returns to scale. The relation by which output increases compared to the increase in inputs is called returns to scale. We can measure the elasticity of these returns to scale, noted as mu, is equal to the sum of the partial derivatives of production with regards to each factor multiplied by the proportion each input makes up of the whole. We will use the previous graph to better understand the different types of returns to scale. When the value of mu is bigger than 1, we will have increasing returns to scale. When it is equal to 1, we will be dealing with constant returns to scale. Lastly, when mu is smaller than 1, we will have decreasing returns to scale. Returns to scale differ from one case to another because of the technology used are the goods being produced. Therefore, it is closely related to economies of scale happening within the business's production process.